Hi and welcome to RC Kicks. Yes, it's that day. I've put it off as long as I possibly can, but today is the day we paint the 959 uh, TBG body. Luckily, I do have an original. Yes, it's in terrible state, but it really does help me understand the paint job and how I'm going to tackle it. So there's quite a lot of detail to this body, even though it only looks like spray the middle white, do the sides blue, and then hide everything with the stickers. I'm going to start with the lights, yes, definitely the lights and the bumper. And then I'll back them in white afterwards to make it pop a little bit more, and then we'll spray the white and the blue. So, let's crack on. Well, I've given three coats of paint to the black back windows. I used some low cost stickers for the 959 as actual templates for the lights because masking up has taken forever. So anything to speed things up. I'm now prepping up for the white line across the front. So I've done my main line and now I'm literally just masking off this side and the other side. It's slow going and not very exciting but hopefully it's going to turn out all right. So let's carry on. The white coat is on, it's just drying now. It looks blue because it's got a blue protective layer on the top of it. It came out okay. I was a bit worried that it would react with all the oils from my fingers because I couldn't wash it out, but that wasn't a problem. The only problem I have is a small little bit here where I messed the window edge up. So I went in and I removed it, but it had some little bit left so of course it's been highlighted by the white. I'll see how bad it is when I remove the protective film when I'm finished and then I will, if it needs it, I will go in with this, remove this section, clean it up and then just touch it in and hopefully that will make it disappear. Next job is to remove the masking tape around the outside and then we're gonna shoot the dark blue. Let's crack on. Both layers are down. All I've got to do now is take out the window masks, clean up any bits that are a little overspray and things like that, and then we put the stickers on. So let's get the window masks out. Right, now for the fun bit. Turning blue to white. Let's just hope it is white underneath here. Let's 
see how the lights came out. One. Am I alright? A little bit of touch up here and there. journey but we're getting there slowly I've just now mounted the cockpit into the car with the two fixing points at the front and the fixing points for the brakes I've just realized looking at it I put the brakes on the wrong way around so I'll have to loosen them off and spin them around the other way once they're dry it's been a challenge this one for me I struggled quite a bit I made a mistake on the front headlights where I cut the blue into too sharp I have my reference body but unfortunately the fronts are all completely destroyed and like a true man I never checked the instructions so I went online last night and I was just looking at pictures and I realized that the stickers go round and you see this white around the the headlights so I had to remove it all and then touch it in uh, when the stickers go on it will hide this so you won't see it so it's fine I had a little bit of a problem here but I managed to fix that there's a sticker that goes over most of that so you won't see that either the blue came out really well the paint in the windows from the Tamiya paints didn't react at all with the actual Tamiya spray paint so that was fantastic so I was really happy with that one of the hardest things I found so far with this body was I didn't want to mask this off because it took so long to mask off the windows because I don't have the uh, stick on masks. So I did the uh, window in black by hand. But once you spray the white over, if you don't get this line perfect or there's bits of paint sticking out, it will show up massively. So I spent ages on the, the black windows and I kind of pulled them off. The back window came out really well. The side window here wasn't that great because I made a mistake and then I had to remove it and time just dragged on and on and on with that one. Another thing that's really, really hard that caught me out was this section here. This white line is seen. Once you put the spoiler on, you do still see this down line here and here. Now on the outside, it'd be really easy to paint that. It's not a problem. When you flick it up the other way, it's deep inside there. It's very difficult to actually get to. That's about it. And then we have the fun of doing all the stickers. Let's carry on. We're getting closer.
that's it, finally got it finished. Whew, bit of a long journey, but look at it, isn't it stunning? Absolutely gorgeous looking thing. The kit makes you work for it, I must admit, but uh, I can highly recommend it. If you want to put some effort and time into rebuilding a real classic, I can highly recommend them. Anyway, thanks very much. Please like and subscribe as it really helps this little channel and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks very much.